Good morning, it's Brenda. Welcome back. I Today is Thursday, so um, I didn't do a video yesterday because we were in Edmonton all day at the uh, TELUS World of Science. We took Braden there for the day and oh my goodness, we had such a great time. And um, yeah, so I kind of missed yesterday, so I thought I would come on today and do a little video for you but first I just wanted to show you what I had been working on with um Tracy and I had done we usually FaceTime because she's she lives in BC and I'm here in Alberta and so we crafted together for the day and I just wanted to show you a few things of what I was able to get done this was just using two pieces of six by six paper gluing it together to make the pocket and I just added in a tag and it's using fall paper just stuck a pocket on the side you know and some little some little words and then just did a cover something really simple so I think we'll we might take a um, a day maybe next week maybe tomorrow I don't know and we'll make a few of these they're so fun they're so quick and you can just make a bunch of them for sending in uh, happy mail or you know something like that and then I started to make my fall covers so that's just some paper I had sitting inside just to just for sizing so for these what I did is I laid out my fabric pieces this is all just scrappy pieces that I laid out and then I clipped together and then I sewed them right I just sewed them until they were all at the right size I laid them out on a piece of paper and you know whatever whatever journal size you're going for that's the size you're going to use but I'm, I'm trying to do uh, some different sizes so this is a uh, this one here I think it's um, oh, let's find out here it's 11 long by seven and a half high so that's it's smaller than your your usual uh, journals but I just thought it was so pretty and then I added lace lace ribbon I guess it's called um, at the top and bottom just to give it a, a kind of a finished look and then this one is your standard um, nine it's nine high by 12 so when you fold it it's six by nine Right, and then I just added a couple pockets on the sides there just to have some tuck spots. And I did coffee dye my paper. So it was start it started out as a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And then when I laid it down, I just laid out my pieces and then I pinned them together. And then I just took took the pieces off and then sewed it on the sewing machine and then I glued the paper onto it so and you can if you wanted to like if you want to do some of these like they're very quickly um, they come together very quick with your with your pieces of fabric or pieces of paper it doesn't even have to be fabric right and then once you get this inner page on then you can just sew all the way around you don't have to just I just sewed the pockets on but I, I may come back and just do another stitch at the top and bottom just to ensure that it stays together. Anyway, so I did those and then I was working on these. Oh my goodness. These, these can be toppers for your journals. They can, you can put, um, uh, file folder on the back and they can be journaling cards for your journals but I just thought like, how stunning does that look just so gorgeous I have a, a couple here and there's my other one 
I'll just show it by itself for a minute. But these images are from a, a fashion book that I got off of Amazon. And I just clip. I read the whole book first because it talks about the fashion and the hairstyles and, you know, all that wonderful stuff. And I just thought I would share these with you and show you what I've done and and then add them to the covers like they're just oh I'm they're so gorgeous and it's the images that make them you know and then it's just all the added little touches that you give to each and every photo and then there's one more and this this blue one here but I I couldn't resist adding butterflies and some bling of course so that's what I had been working on. So today, just just something quick, something easy, but I thought we could do some of these little matchbooks for fall. Like I have a bunch of cutoffs from uh, paper, but these, you just open them up and then you have your paper attached inside. And yes, they've been done before at, by many people, you know, but they're, they're fun, they're easy, and, you know, maybe you'd like to come along and craft with me today, and we'll make some together. And they're, because they're so fast, you can just belt them out like nothing. They could be a huge mass make, and then you can have them for your future projects. You can have them ready to send in the mail, you know, whatever you'd like. And... So if you have scrap paper, cardstock, um, scrapbook paper, you know, grab some of that and you're just going to need a cutter or scissors or embellishments, whatever you'd like. But I just thought I'd bring my journal over and show you that you can attach it inside. You can glue it down three sides, have the top open, you know, these three sides have it as a side tuck or you can have it just clipped in. You can just clip it on the side like that. I don't think I have a, oh, I do have a clip there. But then you can just clip it in the side and then you can add another little embellishment on the other side of it there. But it, it's, it's just lovely, it's beautiful. And anything that you add to it, it's going to make it stand out even more. All right, so how about we make a couple of those? Just grab some supplies and, you know, paper, scraps. I have a, I have a bin of scraps. And so I just took out a bunch of little pieces of paper. And you can make them any size. You know, you can make them small. I did have some tiny ones somewhere, but I have them in a bin. But I thought we would do some fall ones today. And this is just a smaller piece. If you want to know the size, I can tell you. This one is six and a half, six and a half long by three and a half wide. I usually keep to the three and a half width. I think this one I made at a four. So you can see, yep, it's a half inch wider. So I made this one at a four. But let's do this little guy. And all you do is you just fold up. Fold up an end, and that will be where your paper sits in. And it can be an inch. This is actually just a tiny bit over an inch. And then you'll bring down your top flap to where it's over the fold. So see, this is going to be a nice short one, a little, just a little guy. So it's going to be, do you see there, it's folded over? because that will go inside and it looks like a little matchbook. It's so cute, right? So do that, you can ink them, you can stamp on them, you can add uh, some die cut embellishments, you know, it's whatever you want. And then you grab your scraps. So I'm just gonna add a few pieces of paper and this is just some finger painting paper uh, that I had done. And yeah, see, it's just, just this, just a hodgepodge of papers. 
It doesn't have to be anything specific, you know, unless, of course, you're going for a theme. And then, then you would have certain things, right? And these are just pieces of matte paper, but yeah, it can be anything. A little piece of coffee dyed paper. It could be, I just, I think I did five sheets. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five sheets. And then I just kind of make them, oopsie, I kind of have to remind myself which end to staple it at. And then I'll just set it there and I'll use my ruler just to uh, tear them off. And then that can be used for the next one, right? So let's just do that. Cut them off and make sure it's gonna be folding just like that. And you just wanna make sure it's a little ways away from your crease so that it can fold uh, nicely. And then I just took my stapler. Oh, wouldn't you know? Out of staples. Goodness. Well, I have this tiny thing. Let's see if it'll work for me. It's a weird... There's not a lot of room to move the arm, so I always have to watch I don't pinch my fingers. Oh, and it's actually going through, so that's wonderful. Ugh. Oh, that one didn't. Hmm. All right. Well, it's good. This one's going to get to just for now. I don't want to uh, look for the staples right now. That just adds time, adds more time to what we're doing here. So there we go. Just crease that. And then you have yourself a little matchbook, right? So I have a stapleless uh, stapler, but I don't want to add the hole there right now. So, and then you just dress it up. So this one, like it's the fall embellishments and that's, that's what I've been using. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Here we have harvest. So we're just going to add that on there and just glue it. Use You can use glue stick. There's no, you don't have to use any specialized glue. I'm just using what I have on my desk. So and I have a lot on my desk. I didn't do any cleaning. <laughs> you know how that is, right? You, you get busy and then doing other stuff and then what you really want to do you don't do because you're busy. I'll just add a butterfly. Maybe I'll pop it on this side, but these are those butterflies that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree when I was there. Nice fall colored butterflies. and I just add glue to the center. I mean, you're in about you put whatever embellishments that you want on here. You know, you make it yours. You don't have to do anything that I'm doing. You can use whatever papers you want, whatever whatever pretties that you have at home in your in your um, stuff you use. You know, I'm just being silly now. I go back to the vintage, you know, the vintagey stuff because that's what I like. But I was just noticing this little inchy that I had made. It's a little too big, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll, I'm just going to leave it like that. And you can put some bling on there. Look how pretty that is. And then when you open it up, you've got your paper. I will add another staple there. It's just, it's just the way it goes right now. But I will show you um, the next one. I'll just glue together. I'll just put a little banner on the pages. All right. Let's do one more, shall we? Do you want one? you want to? This is just another piece of uh, paper and this is the four by four by eight and a quarter. I did this one. I just thought I would do one a little longer 
than uh, the other ones. Just crease that and then you're going to bring it over and I usually try to leave a space because if you're going to staple then you want the room for the staples as well, right? Just like that. And then we'll, excuse me, we'll just add some paper and I have some tissue paper. This one I might just rip, make this one a little thinner. that one right and then we're just gonna add some paper together words this was just with this one I crumpled the paper up and I opened it and then I took my my ink block and I just brushed the ink over to add some color but I thought this was the perfect color for these little booklets and then I got some yellow, just like that. And I think that's five pieces, All right? And we'll just, I'm just gonna pop them right here. Just like that. And I know I do it at the wrong end, but that's okay. That. And those bigger pieces, I'm just going to keep. They'll get used for other stuff. Sorry, I couldn't pick my paper up. My fingers are acting up today. <sighs> I don't know. Do you have troubles with your hands or fingers when you're doing stuff? I've been talking to a lot of the ladies, and they've been having issues as well with theirs. And all right, so because I've run out of staples, we'll see if this works. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this. Oops, I have two pieces there, I think. Just do a little piece like that. We'll see if it works. Just gonna cut it a little bit thinner here. I'll use this glue. This is my, uh, just the Eileen's tacky glue. It's a, it's a very good glue. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. I know this seems like a lot of work. I should just find my, my, uh, staples, but meh. It's okay. Just gonna Add a little touch of glue to the top of each one. Doesn't have to be a lot. You know, it, it'll stick together because uh, once the glue dries, well, then it'll be there. So there's no concern whether they're going to fall apart or anything like that. So just like that. And you can add a topper to it if you want. Oops and add it in like that. But because I glued them all together, I'm gonna add some glue to the back, just like that, and then to the front so it adheres to both the front and the back of the flap. Just like that. And then it'll lay, just leave it for a minute to let it um, dry. And then there you go. And if you find that it's opening a little too much, well, then you can add a cluster right here and it'll look like it's, it's a, you know, it's a cluster to hold it closed or whatever, cause it'll be heavier. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And there's, how about grateful? We'll put some, we'll put grateful there. I think that's very pretty. Just like that. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're, um, 
I hope you're staying cool wherever you are. Like fall is in the air, definitely. The leaves are starting to change color. And, you know, there's that little bit of crispness in the air now. So, yeah, it's it's quite it's quite lovely actually it's fall is such a beautiful season with, with the different colors and yeah it just it's so lovely i'm just gonna pop the butterfly at the bottom there this time and you can add whatever embellishments you want actually i th sorry retreat i'm gonna change that i'll pop the butterfly there and then i have these sunflowers yeah. these ones are from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna I'll just pop one right there oh yes beautiful just beautiful there's there's so much fun to make so easy I won't keep you for much longer. I just wanted this to be a, a little visit for us and, you know, a little, a little craft together, just, just to hang out together for a little bit. And I won't put this one together. I will dress it and get the paper ready, but I will find, I'll break down and find my my uh, staples. Hopefully I still have some. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Have staples. And then that's okay. And then some of these papers, you can write on these papers. You can, I didn't even add any music page or anything to the other ones, but so we'll do that with this one. Just add a piece of music paper. We all have scraps, right? We can all just use our scraps and you can tear it. You don't have to use a ruler. Just tear them at all different levels. You know, it gives that an interesting look there. Sorry if there's a glare, it's the sun's beating in and which is really nice, but I had to close the curtains. Otherwise everything would be in shadow. I'm just gonna tear off the little edges there just because they're a little bit longer. But I mean, the bottom can be adjusted, right? Just... So there's that. That'll be the inside of that one, like that. And just add some stuff. Acorn, let's pop that on there. I'm sorry if I'm off camera. Thanks everyone for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you to my new subscribers. If you're enjoying my content, I would so appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, share, and please leave me a comment. I answer all the comments and I enjoy reading them. Thank you for your emails, for those of you who email me with your questions and who are wondering about stuff. And thank you for those of you who have uh, sent me your address for my happy mail list. I just want you to know that nobody else sees that list but me. I have a uh, a journal that I have as my happy mail uh, list all my all my lovely people that follow me all of you and so I just wanted you to be aware of that in case you were a little leery of sending me your address nobody else is going to see it it's not going to go out on YouTube or Facebook or nothing like that it stays with me and nobody else so I'm just putting that out there. So if you've given me your address, if you sent it to me, thank you so much. I have some packages ready to go out tomorrow. And um, if you'd like to be a part of that, then 
yeah, send me your address and I'll get you on the list. But I wanted to just to show you what we made today. This was the first one and we did three. This one I'll get together when uh, I find my staples. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, you try to prepare everything that you can before going on video and then there's always that little something that it's like oh you know what I mean but yeah it happens it happens to all of us and um yeah so it's it is what it is but I hope you've enjoyed this little um crafting video today I hope you've made some for yourself and if not, I hope you are doing your own thing with me. And um, I hope you all have an amazing day. And bye for now. We'll talk soon.